Are we live again? Are we live again? Oh shit, a ghost! Ooh. You can't see it, but I'm, I'm waving my arms in a spooky manner. So, uh... I don't know how much you guys lost, but, um... Beatrice has tormented our poor Galahad instead of biting Tejal. Oh my god! A guy was gonna sell you something for 100 gold. Wow. Okay, yeah. So I bought the mask and went back to talk to Beatrice. Uh, and she said, no, I'll not help you. This is too entertaining. And so we bullied her and she was like, fine! And she bites Galahad instead. Not again! You fool! You were to bite me, not my husband! Oops, I must have missed. Debt paid. She turns into a fucking bat and leaves. Where did she go? It doesn't matter. Galahad, bite me. The vampiric curse is evil. I shall not spread it. You have been spared a fate worse than death, wife. Galahad, be reasonable. I must enter the demon realm to save Mel. I shall save the maiden, wife. You must stay with the others and remain out of harm. But we don't have time for this. We've got to save Mel. Very well, we shall talk of this later. This argument is not over, husband. Iconic. Poor Galahad. Oh no! It sucks again. Help! What's wrong? You should be happy. Your destiny is close now. Leave her alone, Nox. You've already broken the rules. Uma, what are you doing here? And you scold me for breaking the rules comes crashing in. Oh, hello! Right at the transition. Hello, Iz. I couldn't stand by and watch anymore. You've been guiding her alone for too long. You did just miss your favorite part of this game. I'm so sorry. Oh. Yeah, okay, to be fair, yeah, everybody missed it because the fucking stream crashed. So, even if you had been here, you would have missed it. So. <sighs> What's going on here? Who? What are the two of you? I cannot say, but we're here to help. Important things are happening, and this is a very dangerous place. How do I get out of here? I do not know, but we'd best not stay in one place for too long. Something might find us. It's close enough that I can still talk about it. <laughs> Why leave? We just got here. Nox, don't be silly. If anything happens to Mel, you know what will happen to us. We must help her escape. Very well, but I don't like this. We'll get in trouble if we intervene. Who said I'm gonna let either of you come with me? Uh, never mind, you can come. Good, let's get going. Uma and Nox. So we have just Mage? Oh my god, we're back to fucking level seven. Weird that it happened twice. Yeah. It's fine. We have Shara's tear and a stone hatchet. I love that she's a black mage and she's just like, I'm gonna beat you in the face with a fucking hammer. <laughs> Sexy vampire lady! Alright, well... Oh, I'm slow! No! You're gonna tease me with the ability to go fucking Yume and then just take it away from me? I can't believe this. Hey, there's a sign up ahead. According to the sign, Avion is just east of here. Mm, this can't be right. Avion is a holy place. How could it exist in the demon realm? Whatever it is, we should get going. I think something's following us. Oh. Run! 
Oh, nope, it's for sure Avion. We made it, we're safe! I do like the art style for Uma and Nox. I think they're cute. If only it was Gindle, it would make sense, frankly. Avion in the demon realm? Can this be real? Perhaps. We must be wary now. Sometimes the real world reflects itself in strange ways in the demon realm. But I'll make a mod that replaces Uma with him. <laughs> Nothing happens. The portal appears to be broken. Ooh, Shadow Avion. A spooky Avion. Tejal Beatrice lore. I am familiar. I am familiar with the Tejal Beatrice lore. Or at least I think I am. They're exes. Chavion, if you will. Yeah! I love that. Fucking phenomenal. Maybe I should have named the stream that. Shavion. Oh, it's spooky! The stranger motions for you to follow him. Why the fuck would I do that? You are dressed in all black, my dude. The girl stares at you, but says nothing. The woman stares at you, but says nothing. No, girl, he is not the ghost of Christmas future. Yeah, like, what are you fucking doing, honey? Magic amulet protects against silence. I will buy all three of those, please. I was too ashamed to seek help from Beatrice, even though I've been absolutely I've wanted nothing more. Yeah. And especially like given like the power that Galahad exerted over you the minute that he was able to do so. Like, you are my wife, you must you you must obey my my commands now instead of the other way around because we're human now. Oh dear, how did you get here? Oracle, it's you! How did you get down here? How can Avion be here? Avion is where it needs to be, child. What can I do for you? I need to get back to the mortal realm. Can you help me? The only reason is because she, clearly she and Beatrice have some innates. Yeah, like, what the fuck is going on there? Why does she owe you a debt? I am sorry, dear. The portal to your world is broken. What can we do to fix it? The Staff of Destiny could fix the portal, but it belongs to the most wicked of demons. I don't have a choice. I can't stay here. Where is this demon, and how can I defeat it? The demon lives in the caves to the north. Weapons from your world cannot harm it. If you wish to defeat the demon so that you can leave, this rod will help. An orb staff! This rod can hold power strong enough to defeat the demon. You must activate the rod with the power of the Wyvern Flames. Find the three Wyvern Flames and dip the rod. When the rod has been dipped in all three flames, the full power of the rod will reveal itself, and you'll be able to defeat the demon. When you defeat the demon, bring the Staff of Destiny to Avion and use it on the broken portal. The Staff will know what to do. Thank you, Oracle. I shall return soon. Orb Rod! Orb staff. Where's the flood orb? Give me that. Orb staff. Orb staff. Oh, let's go fucking follow this dude, I guess. This not suspicious at all figure. Oh? Oh dear, you'll never last in here with your strength. Take some of mine. Party gains seven levels. Heed my warning. Do not believe what your eyes see. You are in grave danger. Wait, come back. Thanks, whoever you are. Well, 
That's not scary at all. Oh, is, is that it? Okay, you know what? Suspicious figure, you get a pass. You get a pass this time. Time to ponder the orb staff. Yes. Allow me to ponder. I have two gold, so I'm not gonna be able to buy shit anymore. Alright, back into the spooky. Hello. I'm here to fight. Alright, what do we got? We got... Why do I have dark magic? Oh, because I learned dark magic. That's right, that's right. Chicken dance. What do you do? You heal. Roast, chill, and shine. Chillin'. We need big chillin' over here. One! Okay! And eat hot chip and lie. Yep. Well, this is fucking cool. Two damage. Storm after a little bit. Ooh. One hundred and twenty gold coins. I don't know how much I need to rest because I don't have any of my mana or health from leveling up seven fucking levels. God, I hate this outfit. I hate this outfit so much, y'all. Five gold coins! Thank you. It is not good. Yeah, like... Like, we got fucking... Ia? We got, we got, we got Ia. And we got Ren. Right? Just recolored. And then Mel gets whatever the fuck this is. I think what annoys me the most is that the other apprentice mages in school were not wearing robes. They were wearing fucking pants and shirts. So why does Mel have to wear robes? Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. Alright, let's beat up this guy again. There's so many better ways to do that. Yeah. Like, I just... I don't know. Okay. Let's go fight some hellhounds, I guess. Defend. Could have been wearing something else to find Gimbal. Like, just change out of your fucking uniform for once. You know? She wears the same robes as all the girl magicians in school during the lecture where she sets her on fire. Oh, yeah. Yeah, traveling clothes! Like, that's- that would have been so much better! Just- here, have some traveling clothes so you can change into something that's better suited for exploring. Like, if you're gonna be leaving the city, 
you shouldn't have to wear your fucking uniform because it doesn't provide any armor. It's fine. Loving this, like, linear path. Door's locked. Wow, I'm shocked. I should fight. I should fight. giving me that just like immediately. Alright, what we got? Undead amulet. Let me give it to you. Because you have other things that you could do. Okay, well, there's nothing else here, so we just- Ah! scared me. Mistress, I found you! You're a little late. You were supposed to bring my friends here before I got thrown down here. I'm sorry, Mistress. They were slow. Don't worry. I'm here now. I'll protect you. I don't need your protection. Mel, is this wise? We need all the help we can get. Fine, you can come, but don't get in the way. Thank you, Mistress. Even to join the party. We better get going. Is she... Level 28! Alright, cool. She's chonky. Let's fucking go. Hey. Fuck out of here. Yumite and Galahad are shaking hands. Yeah. <laughs> I love Yumite, honestly. Like she's the she is the highlight of this game. I genuinely love her. Yeah, fuck out of here. Demon hide robe. That's not scary at all. That I'm going from 2 to 103.
Damn it, that means I can't use any skills at all. Fuck. Alright. Even the ones that have... Whatever. This sure is something. Definitely got fucked with the RNG there. Oh, it's the dude. The stranger motions for you to follow him. This isn't suspicious at all. No, of course not. This is totally normal, totally fine. Surprising. Fine. Bonsai tree. Another bonsai tree. See a weird vegetable. Okay, so what was the fucking point of me being here? I can't go anywhere else, can I? Why am I fucking here? fucking fighting you again. I need mana. I- what? Where do I go? It must be really hot in there. Is there anywhere else for me to go? No? Fight the dogs. There we go. We're fine. silence thing on Mel. Spook! Hey, spooky! Oh. Three hold them on. Thank <laughs> you. 
Why does she only deal one damage? I'm so confused. This is fine. Yes, give me money, please. I don't know why I could possibly need it down here. Okay, wait, I saw treasure up top, so we're gonna go this way first. This chapter feels needlessly difficult. Oh, we're not going that way. Do you mean just like the game in general? Because that's how I feel about it. Okay, so that's a that's a thing. Combat balance in ways you can get stranded. Yeah. Yeah, I just... Like, it's so easy to get soft-locked in this game, right? Like, why doesn't she do that with everything? And also, she was dealing, like, 400 fucking damage. You only ever get to, like, level 30 in this game. Yeah, I just... We're gonna heal. Uma. Well, I don't have a shovel. So that's fucking cool. sense for me to have a bunch of monies. I can't decide what to get. Hi, Tarek. Dragon cloth. Star cloth. Why do they have to wear different shit? <sighs> I, I just... understand why Yemite has a phenomenal weapon already. She's like 12 levels higher than us. And she is dealing 
zero damage to some of the hobs here. I just... Like, each of these only increased by two, so why is Yimite not fucking annihilating everything right now? Pumpkin pie. See, here's all the goddamn healing. It's in the demon realm. Just fucking. Yeah, it just sucks. It just fucking sucks. I shrunk Helga's house and stole it! You see a miniature house. <sighs> Hello. My sister rules the east side of Shanley, and I rule the west. I tire of splitting the city with her. Is there something I can do to help? The queen who wears Maldron's diadem is entitled to rule the entire city of Shane Lear. Bring me this diadem and I shall reward you greatly. Don't listen to her! Bring Maldron's diadem to me and I shall give you an even better reward. Where is this diadem? It's on a cliff in the wilderness. You'll need a rope to reach it. Thanks. Your city sucks. Hey, if you want fresh slime, you must go to the slime farm. Really? I had no idea. Something wrong? What are you looking for? Someone stole my house! <laughs> Didn't we see a miniature house earlier? I remember it. It was in a house that belonged to another witch. Uh, we can go try. Hello. Weird vegetables grow up in remote areas of the demon plains. Yeah, I have one, actually. Hello. May I help you? I have a sick friend who needs some medicine. Do you have anything I can give him? I can help you, but I need you to bring me a word vegetable. I have one. Can you make a remedy? Excellent. The, the apothecary adds the word vegetable to a boiling pot full of mysterious ingredients. He stirs the potion and pours the contents into a glass. Poison? I asked for a remedy, not poison. Come now, you should leave before we anger him. Demon realm is not like the mortal realm. The rules are not the same. Perhaps poison is a remedy here. Weird warts and worms. Recipes for every ailment. Those things are personally like... Melisdell's little don't sacrifice yourself with me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's a tavern down here. Okay, hang on. We got... Yeah, shit. Gabrell wouldn't give me his key to the demon cave, so I cursed him with the plague. You can't be ill if you're dead. You're right. You know? You are right. It's like Benadryl. You can't sneeze if you're unconscious. You see Benadryl's house? Well, this looks like this might be Helga's house. Ah, it is Helga's house! I shrunk it and stole it. Isn't it delightful in that size? Helga is quite distressed about her missing house. I think you should give it back to her. Greta cackles. Be my guest! Take her back to her! Tell her it's my pleasure to look after it for her. Well, that was easy. And a little strange. Let's not argue with her. Take it before she changes her mind. Mini house. Excuse me. I guess we're going this way. I wish I could just like push people out of the way, you know? Oh my fucking god! Less of an ass. Yeah. It's this house. He's just 
totally- yeah, I- It should have been Gendel. Gendel should have fucking come in here. I tried to have the apothecary make you something to cure you, but it gave me a bottle of poison instead. You have poison? I'll take it. Now gives Gabrell the bottle of poison. Gabrell uncorks the bottle and drinks the contents. I am healed! Thank you, friends. Please, take this for your wickedness. Cave key! No thanks. But they're fucking worst. Yeah, it's, I think why it's annoying with Edward specifically is that, like, he's fine in the early ones, right? Like... Have- yes! Yeah! Have it pay off! Have it fucking pay off! You know, you spend all that time walking around with somebody and getting to see them who, for who they actually are and you're telling me you're not gonna get- get some potential feelings if you're flirting with them? Come on. Make it- make that something. That'd be fun. We think you found your missing house. Is this it? Mel gives Hella the miniature house. My house! What did this? It was Greta. Stand back. I must return it to its normal size. <gasps> no! Greta put a counter spell in my house! It's turned to red gel! That witch will pay for this! Yeah, Ren got one. Why can't Mel have one? Give all the women evil endings. Let women be evil. It's what they deserve. Like, she's literally part of a prophecy to rule the fucking world. If only I were a demon like my grandfather. You look like you need more than a drink, my friend. Perhaps some strong poison can help you. Have you tried the fermented weevil juice? It's the best drink in the house. Oh, hey, Hercules. Hello, citizens. It's good to see you. Is that you, Hercules? The Hercules? No, one and only. How did you get here? I have connections. Buddy? 25 gold coins to sleep? That's not too bad. It's not bad at all. Mind if I do. I just... Yeah! Yeah, absolutely she should have had that option. Like, Ren had so many options. She had so many choices. And it was just, it was just nothing. We just got nothing. Oh, hey. Blue slime. Can I just take these? Okay. The dragon wiped out my red slimes. To grow red slimes, I need red gel. We have some red gel. I have a few fix plans that address like specific parts of the ending I find lacking, but honestly, completely reworking. Oh my god, I would absolutely re read that. You do a uh, phenomenal fix, so. Now what happens? We wait, wait. It takes a few hours for red slimes to grow. Doink. 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 Excuse me, Morbert. If you're not going to use this shovel for the rest of the day, would you mind if we borrow it? Go ahead. Just get it back to me by tomorrow. Yeah, we're never giving you this. You're never getting this back. Oh! We're here. I feel this void. Has this void? <laughs> yeah, there, there's... Yeah. There do be a void. Um... Here we go. Yeah, we're gonna go. One of those long fits might be better. I need to work on my long thick. Need to get on that shit. Cool. I 
I'm making like, I realize that I'm actually a decent way through it, right? All right, we're gonna go fight these fucking guys, I guess. Hello. Oh! I'm moving too fast. I'm trying to dance. It's not working. <laughs> I'm trying to fucking jam out. It's not. It's not tracking me very well. Of course it is. What else would it be? I would expect nothing less from you, if we're being honest. I think that's one... That is, that's one of the pairings that I haven't really thought much about, and so I haven't, like, written anything for that specifically. And I, I feel like I should. I feel like it might be a fun little exercise for me to write a little one-shot, you know? I still- I don't understand why Gimme Tay only deals one damage to these guys. the power? I think it only went up a little bit. <clears throat> they read my cringe fail sex fic and they were like, for some reason. Them being, I haven't changed anything event wise, but the emotional changes. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, yeah, J-Man, that's how it feels like the code is in this fucking game right now. That's good. That's some good shit right there. Good shit right there. Uh, storm magic, chill. Roll reversal. It is RPG Maker. Oh god, it is. What should you do? Series. On three. <laughs> yeah, because then it could just be like little snippets, right? It didn't it wouldn't have to be 
Okay, y'all. <sighs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It could just be like little things. Like I love writing. Hell yeah! Let's fucking go! We need more Avion fix in the world. We always need more Avion fix in the world. Where the fuck is the gate? This is not the way that I wanted to go. Oh, I'll see you when I post this in like 2026. Damn, only three years? You're gonna hustle! I respect it. Is it that? Do I need to go back down in the hole? <laughs> Being optimistic? Yeah! Being very optimistic. What's up here? Is this the way I need to go? I don't fucking know where I'm going. Aha! This is the way I need to go. I almost doubled how much I posted on AO3 last year in the past like six months. Would be cool as hell. I believe in you too. And I'm excited for whatever you are able to post whenever you are able to post it. Cause like I think I, I think I talked about this on on the Discord, right? That my own um Like, I, I know how I am personally when it comes to writing, like, multi-chapter things or, like, bigger projects. That if I don't finish it and then post it as a complete work, then it's not going to get fucking finished. <laughs> well, do a storm magic. I got a chill. Yeah, you know, it's fine. It'd be like that sometimes. I mean, I have a fic that I've technically been working on since like middle school. And, uh, I never finished it, so. <laughs> and, you know, I probably never will, and that's okay, right? It just exists in my head. Because I've written it so many times in my head that I just don't want to, like, put it down on paper. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. Chai root. Uh, we're gonna do a chicken dance. Do a chill. And you're gonna attack one of those, and you're gonna attack that. And just never. Yeah, yeah, I do that a lot. stuck on the ending and not liking. Wait, how the, how the fuck are you back? Excuse you.
Yimite is awful against the Hellhounds. She, she literally can't do anything. She does one damage. It's type effectiveness. So it's because her, her weapon is a fire weapon. each other back, motherfuckers. Yimmy take go. Yimmy take go. Yimmy take go. Yimmy take no! Oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, that actually makes more sense then. But like, at that point, just make it heal them instead of just dealing one, because that's so fucking frustrating. Okay, heal your mistress. And yourself, actually. Okay, give me a second, I gotta reply to a text from a friend. He's uh, going through some shit, and so uh, I just want to at least let him know that, like, I have read and will respond to these messages. fanfic thank you you're welcome go work on that fanfic oh hey it's just here hey thanks it's just fucking here very busy and I've decided I have to draw. <laughs> Kidding me? I joked about drawing Kalos, Frosts, and Flakes on Cola, and they said, if you don't have a play for my birthday yet, please draw that. <laughs> oh, goodness. is probably not going to be very helpful against these guys. Yeah, uh, J-Man's like an actual programmer, coder, tech guy. So, he would be good for checking things out if, you would, if that is something that you guys are interested in. I first. This 
shaman claw. Is it for you? Because it's red, so it's evil. I am what they call in the business a nerd. Fucking nerd. more space than I thought there was. Forsaken. Is that a thing? The, a hatchet with a bat chiseled on the haft. Now, now y'all are just talking uh, gibberish to me. I'm gonna have to fucking fight these guys, I just know it. Isha's Clogs. Okay. Sure, Clogs, why not? <laughs> that's yeah that's definitely not concerning at all You know what? That's fine, actually. Ah, I see. Nox learns disease! You opened up a box, and you learned a spell. Ah! Yeah. I got fucking got. <laughs> the box had anthrax in it. <laughs> Can you maybe not do that, actually? That'd be great if you just didn't do that. How about you get fucked, actually? Running precariously low on mana. Okay, let's go this way. What's this way? Oh! We're back here. Hello. Damn box. Just in case. Guys, but I have to. So we're gonna try it again. Ooh. 
you're just gonna defend, actually. And you're gonna do... You're gonna try to kill it. Oh my fucking god, dude! Seriously? Y'all saw that shit, right? Fucking kill it. Yemi take go! You're like 12 lovers higher than literally anything. Just kill it. Oh my fucking god. Oh, you know, Ornox can just kill everything in one fucking go. That's also fine. How do they only have like 50 something health and yet they deal three, like 600 damage in one hit? Make it make sense. Talking gibberish again. Fucking see, because I can't trust that you're not just gonna one shot me, piece of shit. Why? how damage works in this game at all. Putting off making dinner long enough. Okay, yeah, go make dinner. Go make dinner. Interesting. Um, we're gonna go out this door, because I feel like this might be... Yeah, it's outside. That's what I thought. That's what I was hoping for. Cassia leave. Thanks. We're about to kill these dogs! Let's fucking go! Can you kill a dog now? Danny's family is visiting, so I'm supposed to have dinner with them. They're coming via RV, and their RV has gotten three flat tires. I'm sorry? Three flat tires. Oh my fucking god. And holy shield, I love that. I already bought a set, but you know it's fine. Where does this bring me? Where am I? Can I please? What is this? An empty scale. Only will I open if given the weight of one queen. Oh, I have to fucking kill a queen. That's right. Okay, that's fine. Tires are like 20 years old and it's so hot. Why? Did you not, like, check? Beforehand? Oh, 
Yep, we're about to fucking die again. Wait, what am I doing? Steal. Disease! It's that simple. so bad at this. Thanks, Nox. Once again, proving Black Mage superiority. Oh, hey! There's that ugly mask. That's missing. Sure, it would be nice if I shared inventory between my two parties, but that's not possible. a wall with two scary masks on it. The third mask appears to be missing. Cool. Love that for me. Alright. We are going to go... So we have the diadem, so we have to go give that to the queen. And then we come back with queen's ashes, I guess. Or whatever happens. Can I not? Can we just not? Actually. God damn it. Do they have three spare tires? <laughs> groovy? There's a, there's a fucking thing called Groovy? Goodbye, Uma. It was nice knowing you. Shame you won't get any experience for that. It's like Java, but different. I was like, tell them to get a fourth while they're at it. <laughs> Just buy a whole new set of fucking tires. At this point. Although tires are expensive! Dude, they're so expensive. Okay, which way do I go? Not that way. This way. What? Yeah, I replaced mine maybe about a year and a half ago now. <laughs> Tag your OTP, yeah. For real. Nice! Nope, she still does one damage, and I don't fucking understand. Very renegade John Core. It absolutely is. Uh, this way. We're gonna go back to Avion to take a nap. learn some coding, specifically Python, because we use it a lot at work. I feel like that would be really helpful and, and a good thing to know in my field. But also, I don't wanna... There's a lot. Fuck 
on a python. I like my gonna go and take a nap and then we're gonna take a little break a little bathroom break and then we'll be back at it we're gonna go talk to the oracle because i think i need i only need one more all right we're gonna save we're gonna hit the uh the intermission button and i'm gonna run to the restroom uh don't go anywhere or, you know, you can rain in your, uh, whatever you called it. The butt, I think. I don't remember exactly what it was called. I think it was butt. But anyway, I will be back in a few minutes. See you soon. have returned but must be dismantled for the time being <laughs> our sitting president oh i need to switch back to live scene <laughs> oh goodness oh can i please buy some more of these Yeah, it's gotta be all caps. Gotta. I am gonna grab some of these. I need more of these. Oh, oh. Here, do you want this shitty hammer I have? Are perverts, definitely not. Not in my good Christian Minecraft server. Okay, let's go talk to the Oracle.
Uh, oh, okay. Never mind. Not on my good Christian Twitch stream. No, not at all. Hello, Nightbug. Welcome in. How you doing? <clears throat> exactly, J-Man. You don't- we don't even get on our knees to tie our shoelaces. We just straight up bend over for that. Constantly kneeling to pull weeds. Well, you know someone's got to do it. So thank you for your service. Um, let's go this way. Aha. Slimes! Give. I don't even know what you do, but give. Chilling in bed with the cat? Give the cat a pat for me. I don't actually know what I do with these. Okay, let's, let's look at the inventory once I've collected them all. Curse an enemy, put an enemy to sleep, or make an enemy clumsy. Cool. Just extra items. Thank you. That is indeed necessary. I've seen enough videos to know what they do. What are you talking about? They're just little blob friends. Alright. We have but one crown and two queens. Who shall we give the crown to? Blue or red? Slime tutorials? <laughs> How to make your own slime at home with like cornstarch and water. My hair is blue. We got two for blue? Diadem, give it to me! The White Queen snatches Maldron's diadem from Mel's hands. Now I'm queen of all! Sister, for making me share this city with you, I make you dirt! You turned your own sister into dirt? She had it coming. You mentioned a reward? Fine! The White Queen glances around. Yes, you can have whatever you find in the red chest next to my sister's throne. Wow, thanks a lot. You're really generous. Let's go. We got a bag of sand. What do we get? Oh, my Syrian fusion. Not too bad. Jello recipes. Oh my gosh. Is. <laughs> oh, goodness. Alright. Now we're gonna go back to the caves. <clears throat> she made her sister into sand and not dirt. Yeah, what the fuck? She did say I turn you into dirt, and then she didn't do it. Turned her into sand instead. Weak shit. Where am I going? Am I going the right way? I'm absolutely not going the right way. Aha! This is where I needed to go. No, it's not. Dinner in tow! Dinner. I gotta figure out what to do for dinner. We bought, um, some, like, some... I don't really know what the term is, but thinly sliced red meat that would be good for, like, a carne asada or a... Like chopping them up and putting them in a stew. Uh, but I don't know what we're gonna do with them. Do 
Do I need to go this way? Yeah. Deli meat, cold cuts. Hey! No, not deli meat. Not deli meat. Beck, what'd you make for dinner? Same thing I have for breakfast, but more. What did you have for breakfast? Gas house eggs. Gas house eggs? I have never heard of that. You make toast? Oh! I called it toad in a hole. Okay, I understand. Toad in a hole. Yep, yep. Toad in a hole. I've actually never made it myself. Um, I should though. Excuse me. separate. That's fair. That's fair. I I haven't made it myself and so I don't know how well it would work, right? Put egg on toast. Uh, nope. Not here. Oh, I went in the wrong door. Okay, let's do a little thing. So where... Whereabouts in the U.S., if you are from the U.S., are you from? And what do you call that food? I grew up in the South, but I was introduced to it by somebody who was more Northeastern. And so I learned Toad in a Hole because she called it Toad in a Hole. <clears throat> one queen on the scale. We don't have a queen, but we do have that bag of sand that was once a queen. And Deanna Jones! Right. <clears throat> Eggy in a basket? That's pretty cute, actually. yard work this week so I'm gonna get a quick meal. Yeah. Totally understand. Sometimes my, uh... Sometimes my girl dinner is just, like, a packet of instant oatmeal at 10pm. Which I know is awful. <clears throat> but, like... do need to be better about actually eating food. Um. So many witch eye roots. I've got peanuts. I've been munching on uh, mixed nuts. I had it's almonds, cashews, macadamia nuts. I could hear from a 
almost got. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I tend to get really fucking hungry, like, on my way home from work. Oh, hey, there's a mask! Um, and so I'll, like, pick up a snack on my way home, and then I'm just not hungry for the rest of the evening, and so I don't eat dinner. Silenced, idiot. You stupid motherfucker. Got faster than I did the supermost, yeah. <laughs> RNG really said fuck you in that one. Yeah, I'll take the scary mask. Okay. Is there treasure this way? I feel like there's... There was not treasure this way! I was lied to! Behemoth's head. You know, Mel, I know you say you're not evil, but you're really starting to look evil. With your, uh, I'm sorry, your worm eye shield, with an eye that sometimes looks around, your behemoth's head, which is a head from a fallen demon, and your demon hide robe. But you're not evil. No. Not at all. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. point of the field trip is to become evil. I mean, that's what everybody else wants for her. Alright, that worked out really well. It, of course, Nyx went, Nox went literally last, but, you know, it's fine. Uh... Slime you got from the 
the slime farmer should go in here. Sure. Ah! Ugh, more slimes? What are we meant to do with them? Look at those enclosures. Perhaps we should herd the slimes into them. How would I know? I'm not a slime herder. Yellow slimes get along better with other yellow slimes. Herd the slime into enclosures separated by color. When a slime goes in, click on the opening to close the gate. Open the gate again when you have another slime ready to go in. Slime rancher, literally. Hey. 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 Get in there. funnier than me on my own stream. Stop it. Is it what three slimes per color? Nope, there's four yellows. God damn it. Oh no, you don't. Get back over here. Hey, you better back away from that door, little busy. Get in there. Get in there. This is great gameplay, y'all. I'm having a I'm having a wonderful time. I don't know about you guys. You know, this is exactly what I wanted when I played an Appion game. I wanted to just sit around in my little slime farm and corral some slimes. Oh, I don't I don't like this mini game. <laughs> It's so tedious. <laughs> it's okay. It just seems very uh, lackluster, I think, is probably the best way I could describe it. Oh no, you don't, bitch. Get back in there. I'm all about tedium in some cases, but other times I'm just like, can you let me just fucking proceed with the plot, please? Sorting shit by color, normally my jam. Like, very much normally my jam. Um, I don't know if you've played a little to the left, but that is literally- all it is is organization, the video game, and it's phenomenal. Alright? You can just sort buttons in a drawer so that everything looks pretty and neat. It's great. You, like, line up all your cups in your cabinet so that the cracks line up. It's- oh, it's phenomenal. I genuinely love that game. And, like, and with a lot of them, there's, like, multiple ways to solve it. Uh, like, you could either do it completely by color or you could do it sorted by size. Right? It's just- I don't know, it's cool. Alright, there you fucking go. There's your slimes. Um... 
It's called A Little to the Left. Yeah, I genuinely love it. They came out with a DLC recently. Oh! They came out with a DLC recently that uh, added some more of the, like, drawers and cabinets kind of thing, which I really like. Um, but what I also really like about that game is that you, the hints are really easy to get, so you can just get a hint easily. You don't have to worry about it. There's no, like, shame in it. There's also a button that just lets you skip a level. If you get fucking stuck, stuck, you can just be like, alright, no, I'm not dealing with this. And you just skip it. And then you can move on and play the other levels, and it's fine. Yeah, I only had to use it once because I genuinely got stuck. Um, but I use the hints a lot. We should leave. We are not strong enough to defeat this demon. Perhaps when we have all of the rare things, we will be ready. I thought the Warflay was here! Where's the fucking third one? Where's the third one? Alright, alright, we're gonna go put this, uh, this ugly mask on the wall, I guess. mask time. Well, I wonder what would happen if we put the scary mask we found on that peg between the two masks. Good idea. It doesn't match. Why is the one on the wall green when the one in my inventory is white? What the fuck? And now it's white? I... Good coding. Mind me. I'm not salty. Okay, hang on. That's... This is my fault. Sorry for not catching that in beta. How dare you? Ooh, although... So I just remembered, I'm actually... So I backed a Kickstarter for- Oh! Um. I backed a Kickstarter for a game that's supposed to be coming out. The alpha should be coming up soon, so. That's exciting. It's a Fire Shield Extora. It's called Puff Pals Island Skies. It's like- very Animal Crossing Stardew kind of vibes, but with really cute, puffy animals. And you get to befriend a duck and an opossum. Yeah. I'm really excited for it. And there's like little day that there's gonna be like quests you can do and a lot of adventuring. Um, which one of the things that I really like about games like that is the like low stakes adventure aspect right all right good you're tripped so yeah right doesn't it look cute i'm excited for it but 
yeah, I, uh, I'm part of the Alpha team, so... is so fucking itchy. Y'all. Okay, I feel like that was meant to be a little bit harder than it was. Um, but I will take it. Mel learns fury! We've collected the final word flame. We must find the demon and defeat him. You're right, let's go. Uh, are you fucking kidding me? We must get into the cathedral. Step aside, guard. I need a new femur. Someone stole my expensive silver one. Skeleton, you test my patience. Look, down there. That darkling has a silver femur. Nice strategy, Tejal. Let's go. We've made it. Galahad, bite me. I'll rescue Mel. No, wife, I must do this. Galahad, before you go... Don't bring back anything else besides Mel. I suspect everything from the demon realm is tainted. It will be done. Yeet! He just fucking yeeted himself in there. <laughs> yeah, no souvenirs. What's going on here? Get them! Alright, let's go find the demon. I want to get out of this place as soon as possible. I would love that. Do I have any other... Nope! That is literally the only quest. Talk about railroading, damn. I can only goddamn my brother-in-law just jumped into my goddamn portal again. All right, let's go this way. There was a there was a hole this way, so we're gonna go look at it. Aha! I'm sure I won't need those. Yeah, that is pretty great, actually. I guess I, I hadn't even really thought of that until, like, just now. Alright, let's go beat up this demon. Turns out the demon is actually just, like, Zarek. Because technically, the only demon that can't make a, make a comeback is, uh, Ariman, because he's so, he's sealed in the Sword of Shadows. All the other demons are fair fucking game. If only. I would love to see Agas again, I'm not gonna lie. And, uh, fun little, fun little thing. In my long fic, I bring back Indra. So that's a fun one. Yeah. You know, I actually used her as a uh I used her as an as an enemy in D&D one time. <laughs> Douse an enemy in Tainted Light and unleash fury on the enemy party! I don't want to risk those. We're gonna do this. Yeah, I basically just made her like a level 20 sorcerer. And gave her only ice spells. I was still kind of new to it though, so it, she fell prey to the I am one and you are many thing that I had, right? So it was a little bit easier for them because they could just like gang up on her. But it was still fun. I just gave her a fuck ton of HP. 
All right, demon, I've come for the Staff of Destiny. Give it to me or die. The demon laughs. You are fools. You think you can succeed where all others have failed? I shall enjoy watching you die. Wait! Galahad! I have arrived! Just in time! I will not let you battle the demon without me. Who fights with me? Sure wish we had some context on who this guy is. Alright, hang on. Let's see. What do we got? Seventy-two. Me when my sword is named Justice. <laughs> All right. So, curse an enemy. I like the idea of having poison available via uh, Nox, but I might trade her out for Galahad. I would trade out Yemite, but Yemite will sacrifice herself for Mel, and so I would rather keep Yemite in the party. So we're gonna make sure that I don't have anything better to give you. I'm gonna change out Nox for Galahad. Can I save? Oh shit, I could save right here. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Hey, get tripped. How's that feel? Do I'm gonna defend? Oh, also, I do like that I can just swap them out. So if I wanna bring. Knocks it for a bit. To poison him. Mm! Who can amulet? Oh, snap! Oh my god. Okay, right, oh, um, that's that. You're gonna heal. You're gonna use this. And you're gonna attack. Or, you know, it's fucking cool. That's fine. <clears throat> well, we're doing great. Damage. Goodbye, Galahad. It's fine, it was nice knowing you. Goodbye, Nox. myself into this. That's okay. Get cursed, idiot. Get cursed, idiot. Let's see. Water shield, fire shield. Dark shield, maybe? You're just gonna attack. No! Stop it! No! Do I have any more? No, I don't. 
make an enemy clumsy. That might work. I don't fucking know. I mean, it's just free damage. Right? Oh, your heals are not great. Alright, you can deal a fuck ton of damage. You're gonna heal yourself again. You're gonna heal yourself and you're gonna attack. Beat him up, Mel! Beat him up, Mel! Oh my god! I was not expecting it to, to beat him that quickly. Galahad, you came after me. How can I repay you? How did you become a vampire again? There will be time enough for questions later. We must find a way out of this place. Mel, have you forgotten? You mustn't leave without the Staff of Destiny. Yeah, she's gonna fucking leave, like... How can you tell he's a vampire again? Yeah! How can you tell? He always looked like hor like human. Like a human, so... We must return to Avion and use the Staff of Destiny on the Broken Portal. Avion? Here? I don't understand myself. Uma thinks it's a ma mirror of the real Avion. Uma? Galahad, meet Uma and Nox. Now that you have help, you should be okay without us, Mel. Your friend is strong. Goodbye, Mel. Oh! Wait, come back! At least tell me who you are! We must leave at once. The evil in this place makes my skin crawl. <sighs> He's depressed again. <laughs> God damn it! It's fine, I didn't like having a useful mage or anything. He doesn't want to wear the stuff in the demon realm. Alright, well, that's fine. Let's get the fuck out of here. I'm sure it's totally normal for me to my equipment. A staff with dark healing properties. Dark healing, you say? Useful mage, cringe. I'm sorry, I'm so used to Lars. All right, I'm biased. I will say Gavin kind of sucked. Gavin was not a useful mage, in my opinion. You liked Gavin's magic? I don't know, I felt like it just wasn't very powerful. Okay, yeah, he did so- he, I think maybe that's why- Oh, I never used Northwind. Never got that far. Avion 2 is easily my least favorite of all of them, and so I tend to not do all the side shit, right? I just play the game. Especially with the sphere goodie, yeah. I agree. I agree with that. I have the least issues with it, yes. I just don't like it that much. Right? Like, I don't know what it is. I just wasn't vibing with the characters that much. I, I just didn't really care. I don't know. I, I, I'm also, I have a very soft spot in my heart for Avion 1, you know? Where did... God damn it. Goodbye. Yeah, 
Avion one is just like it's like my comfort game, honestly. Yeah, very curl up hot. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, it's just so cozy. And there's something so nice about the familiarity, right? I don't know. It's just nice that I know exactly what to do and where to go. And Yeah! I'm just like, oh, I'm home. Here I am. issues with my step back on my nostalgia. <laughs> Not to be over dramatic, but uh <laughs> Good job, Mel. You're the only one who can deal damage right now, and you fucking missed. Like, thinking about Avion 1 is what got me to play this series on stream, right? Because I was like, I love this game so fucking much and I have to share it with you guys. I have to. I can't not share it. <clears throat> um, and it kickstarted me playing all of them. And realizing that some of them don't quite hold up and that's okay. Yeah, exactly. I played uh, Avion 3.1 and 3.2 a lot. Like, a lot. Um, but I've played these other ones less often. I would love to take a nap for five gold coins. That'd be great. Thank you. I would love to buy some... Actually... I'm not gonna buy shit. I'm just gonna go fix this fucking thing. Start of my love of vampires, which will not die. <laughs> yeah, I definitely think that three has the most interesting cast. Right? Like, I fucking hate Lydia, but I love to hate her. Like, she's phenomenal as a character, especially in the first two games. Right? Edward's, like, decent. I really like Mel. I like her as a character. And then Stella's just a treat. Like, everybody's fantastic in these games, right? In the other games, there's been a couple characters where I'm just like, eh, I don't really care about you. Like, like, Avion 1, there's Marge. Why the fuck do I care about Marge? I have no reason to care about her. Right? I, I She's just sort of there, and she doesn't even have to be. I don't know. Um, and then, too, I just can't really bring myself to care about Ian and uh, Rai and Emma. So, I don't know. Is my thing gonna- there we go. Okay. Anyway. That's strange. The Oracle said that the Staff of Destiny would repair the portal. Maybe she'll know why it isn't working. I'm sure it's nothing ominous. Yo, are we gonna finish this game tonight? We've been live for three and a half hours. Are we- no? I'm not gonna finish the game. They all have the same face, which doesn't help. In two? I don't wanna be here for that. You should if you want to. But like, how how much farther do I have? Like, should I split it into a second stream, into another stream? It's a bit? Okay, then I'll probably postpone it to the next stream. You've returned. Did you find the staff? I see you brought a friend. This is Galahad. You've met him before, remember? Of course. We found the staff. How do we use it to fix the portal? Sure, dear. Yeah. Give me the staff. Mel gives the Oracle the Staff of Destiny. Follow me.
The oracle leads Mel to the broken portal. I shall fix the portal with the staff. The oracle uses the staff of destiny on the portal. The portal is fixed! It is done. You may take the portal back to the location in your world from whence you came. Before you go, take the staff. You have earned it. Thank you for everything, Oracle. The Oracle leaves. We'd better get going. Hey, what was that about uh, not taking anything from uh, from the Demon Realm? Hey, Galahad. Yeah, hey, Galahad. Do you remember? Do you remember what they said specifically to not let you do? Hey, you remember that? I'm sure it's not important. How did you get back? Darklings, throw her back into the portal. Mel raises the Staff of Destiny and calls down fire. I am so tired of being chased. Darklings, throw him in the dungeon. What is the meaning of this? Darklings, take your hands off me. You don't get it, do you? According to your foolish prophecy, I am their queen, and they answer to me. Where are my friends, Darklings? Gendo put them in the dungeon, mistress. Throw Gendo in the dungeon and bring me my friends. Mal, are you okay? What happened? I'm a little shaken, but I'm okay. What is that staff you're holding? Please tell me you didn't bring it back with you from the demon realm. Don't worry, Stella, I won't harm you. I defeated a demon to get it. I literally killed a demon to get this staff, but it's totally fine, guys. It's fine. It's definitely not cursed at all. The power coming from that staff is immense. Dangerous. Yes, that's why I brought it with me. Can you imagine all the wonderful things one, one could do with it? Yes, but so much is wrong with the world. With the staff and the darklings at my command, I can make it right. Edward, it's time Lydia paid for what she's done. I don't know, Mal. Watch. Darklings, bring me Lydia of Theus. Better yet, bring me all the rulers of the kingdoms. We shall decide which of them are fit to rule. Why is the climax about a staff and not Mel's own character arc? Yeah. It has rich history. What is the meaning of this? Let it go. Take them all to the dungeon. I'll deal with them later. The Darklings escort the prisoner to the dungeon. Mel, what are you doing? This is madness. Don't you see, Edward? It occurred to me that most of the rulers of the world are no better than Lydia. They've all lied and schemed their way into positions of power. Some of them have done this, but not all of them. Don't worry, Stella. After I have the Darklings complete a thorough investigation, I'll let the innocent rulers leave. Mel, you don't really think those creatures are going to help you do good. They were always there for me. I just never saw it. Stella, Edward, I don't have time to argue. I have a lot of work to do. In the monarch says the monarchy simp. Feel free to stay if you wish. No one should bother you now. If they do, let me know. Edward, we should go. It was nice seeing you again, though. Go ahead, may I speak with you? I must help the girl, wife. Hmm. Hmm. Something strange is happening here. You don't fucking say! I know. Can you believe Mel just imprisoned all of those rulers? Why would I care about them? Galahad just offered to bite me! What's wrong with that? I thought you wanted to be a vampire again. Of course I do, but not like this. My husband is not the same since his return. Come to Avion immediately. Hi, Bagel. Uh-oh, this can't be good. I think we should go. I'll tell Mel. No! The three of us must go alone. Tejal is right. We need to find out what's going on and why Mel and Galahad seem so different. Well! This seems like as good of a spot as any to end the stream. If we have a little bit longer next, so... We're gonna call it there! Okay. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me while I streamed. Um, I will be back. I will not be back on Sunday. I've got other stuff going on. Um, I will be back on Tuesday with more Divinity. And moving forward, my stream schedules are going to be a little wonky. I'm going to try to give 
a schedule at the beginning of the week to uh, let you guys know what I'm doing. It should still be at the same time. The day just might be different. Bagel, I have already fed you. <sighs> Bagel. I'm trying to talk. Please stop interrupting me. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so I'll let you guys know ahead of time what my schedule is going to be like for the week. It'll be the same time, just going to be on different days depending on other things going on in my life. Um, because I'm trying to prioritize, uh, my personal life now. Instead of keeping such a strict schedule, I'd rather be a little bit more flexible here. Um, so that is it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. This has been a lot of fun. Uh, I think we probably only have one more stream of this left. And then we'll be on to Avion 4, which I have only played once. So that'll be a lot of fun. It'll be like replaying it. It'll be like playing it for the first time all over again. Um, I'm excited for it too. But uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And I will talk to you later. Have a good night, y'all. Bye.